it's Biz, and we're going to talk about what you need to know if you or a loved one is admitted with a urinary tract infection, also known as a UTI. It's important to know what type of questions to ask your healthcare provider so that you understand the plan for getting better and maybe even prevent this from occurring again. So what is a urinary tract infection? Urinary tract infections happen when bacteria gets into the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, which filter the blood to produce the urine. The ureters, which are two tubes that carry the urine from the kidneys to the bladder, where the urine is stored. And then the urethra is the tube that carries the urine from the bladder to outside the body. Now going in reverse order, the most common location of the bacteria is in the bladder. And this isn't typically serious if treated quickly. You will notice a burning sensation with urinating and the need to urinate frequently. The problem arises when the infection continues to travel up past the bladder and into the kidneys. This type of infection is less common but can be more serious and cause permanent damage. This type of infection can cause fever, back pain, and even nausea and vomiting. So why do I need to be hospitalized? Chances are that if you catch this bacterial infection soon enough, you won't need to be hospitalized. But if you ignore your symptoms and don't get treatment from your primary care physician, then you're at risk for a serious infection and being admitted to the hospital. It's important to note that only 30% of UTIs resolve on their own. Those odds let us know that as soon as you start to experience symptoms, then you need to seek medical attention in order to prevent more serious illness. Because do you really want to risk being a part of the 70% that doesn't resolve on its own and has the potential to become very serious? Regardless, we all make mistakes. And if you are admitted, here are the questions you're going to want to ask so that you can make informed decisions. All right, you're going to want to know what was found in your urine. It is common that they will find bacteria, white blood cells, also referred to as leukocytes, nitrites, and blood. Now the blood may or may not be visible in your actual urine. It's important to note that sometimes the bacteria leaves our urinary tract system and enters into our bloodstream. This can be referred to as bacteremia and this is a very serious condition. So you might wanna ask if they're proactively testing your blood to see if there's any bacteria in your blood. And this may be done through the collection of blood cultures. Now that we know what is in the urine, how are we going to treat it? You're going to want to ask what antibiotics you're on. Antibiotics are going to help stop the bacteria that cause the infection, and you should start to see improvements within 24 hours. Now notice when the nurse starts your antibiotics because you're going to want to be aware of any itching, rashes, or trouble breathing at this time. If you notice any of these symptoms, let someone know immediately because this is a sign of an allergic reaction. And it is possible for you to get several doses of the antibiotic before you could develop this reaction. You are also going to want to ask about fluids. Fluids are used to flush your kidneys and can be received orally or by an IV line. Regardless, if you notice that your hands or feet start to feel tight, let someone know because you might be getting too much fluid. Last, you're going to want to know if they expect or need to repeat any labs or urine samples to be collected. This just prepares you to either be a human pincushion or be prepared to pee in a cup because you know they always ask for those samples right after you just went to the bathroom. Now for one of the most important questions. What can I have for pain or discomfort? To assist with the discomfort, you know, the burning down there, there's a medication called pyridium. Pyridium is actually a dye that works as a painkiller to eliminate the burning. Beware, the dye does turn your urine orange or reddish color and this medication can typically be given for just a few days. For generalized pain like lower back pain with a kidney infection you're going to want to ask what pain medication is ordered and how often it's ordered for. Providers like doctors can order medications two ways. One is scheduled so the nurse will bring you pain medications on a schedule. The other way is considered PRN or a Latin term meaning as needed. So in this case, you will need to ask your nurse for the medication when you need it. Last, you're gonna to wanna to know if there's medications for fever. So if you feel like you have a fever or your temperature is elevated, 
Ask if you can have any medication ordered to help control the fever. Tylenol or ibuprofen are often successful at this. All right, you felt rotten, you had to stay in the hospital where you didn't get any sleep, and the food was horrible. How in the heck do you prevent this from happening ever again? You're going to want to ask your provider why they think this happened to you so that you can try to prevent future occurrences. Bad news is, if it's a result of your personal anatomy, it typically can't be controlled. Rats! However, you can control hydration and hygiene. Fluids cause you to urinate more often and therefore flush out bacteria before it causes a problem. Good hygiene prevents bacteria from hanging out near the urethra and entering the urinary tract system. For women, this often means wiping from front to back. Speaking of women, why do they always seem to get UTIs way more often than males? It's because of the differences between the length and location of the urethra. In females, the urethra sets very close to the rectum where the bacteria can be found. And this is the importance of wiping from front to back to prevent wiping the bacteria towards your urethra. In addition, women's urethras are much shorter, so the bacteria have a much shorter distance to travel to enter up into your urinary tract system. Male urethras are not close to the rectums and run the entire length of their penis, so the bacteria has a much longer distance to travel before it can wreak havoc. Just another way that women get shafted. Yes, pun intended. Lastly, if this has happened to you more than once or twice a year, Ask if they think additional testing would be beneficial for future prevention. It never hurts to ask, and perhaps a trip to the urologist could be helpful to you. All right, in summary, if you're admitted with a UTI, you're going to want to ask the following questions. What did you find in my urine? What is my treatment plan? What can I have for relief? And what can I do to prevent this from happening again? And most importantly, do I need any type of follow-up with urology? All right, friends, that's my two cents on being admitted with a urinary tract infection. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful consumer information.